Oh. All right. Uh, welcome back. Shell died, so now it's just us again. But also, she's she, the robot now. Yeah, she's that ball. She just. What she did you really, do? You're objectifying women. She really did not like this game, and I can't blame her. We forced her to watch what, like, an hour and a half of flowers. <laughs> we made her watch us. She made us. We, what, we She watched us pick flowers for an hour. It's like the and and the three of us combined couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Yeah. So by the way, yes, I did. I, I did keep in every part where you threw stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was dicking around for a while. <laughs> so you're t you're making your way back there because we just found out that we need another piece of her again. Yeah, we. Oh, effectively, this game is a giant fetch quest. We're like, we could have just gotten a laundry list of things, gone in here, done all of them at once, and instead of running back and forth, we had to do this. I don't look. I don't know. You know what, I, I think I figured out what disappoints me so much about this game, actually. Is... The promise was that you have some sort of developing relationship with a weird android woman, and you're exploring the ruins of, like, a carnival or something? Yeah. So I, I wanted to explore a cool carnival, and have it be, like, spooky, or weird, or creepy, and have all this weird oh, stuff man. to check out. Almost like amnesia Instead, you walk into a di Yeah. Or even just have cool stuff to look at along the way. Instead, you walk into a dome and ride some elevators to some... some weird video game arcade chambers, and you do, like, zero exploring of a cool carnival. <laughs> and that's, that's... I think that's where it fell apart for me a bit. Because, yeah, this is... Like trip the, number seven into the gray dome. The design of the that's dome... That's kind of a bummer. The design of everything... You, like, made this game seem really promising in the beginning, you know, like... Oh man, you get to do this like cool underground jungle, and instead it's like, nope, bizarre voxly puzzle nonsense. Have fun. Yep. Also, fuck that broken slide. <laughs> fuck that broken slide. Yes. <laughs> that take... sounds painful I... and tetanusy. I mean, you know what? If there's a will, there's a way, and we'll get there eventually. <laughs> How did Wander turn tetanus into an STD? I guess Wander bot. I guess it's self-explanatory. I was. Yep. I'm very passionate bot, about my broken slides. Bot life problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Gross. actually, uh, so so for frame of reference, this is all post-com at this point because we realized this game yeah. is bullshit and we didn't want to pick flowers for another hour and a half. Wander decided to blaze through the rest of the game in a recording, and then I cut the recording roughly in half, and now we're just gonna watch that. I actually don't know the story still. Us us kids wasn't accidental. Before getting sick, there was something special about them, some kind of useful quality. This quality allegedly gave them an intellectual advantage over grown-ups. I wanted to experience the, uh, the story live, so I just skipped over all the dialogue. <laughs> so, uh, that, that ramp... In editing, I mean. That ramp section back there was me realizing that if you stood on the <laughs> ramp, you would slide down backwards. That was also Wander sort of teabagging a doorway. <laughs> I get really bored when I'm by myself. Like I was just sitting get here. In there. Get I couldn't in there. watch I couldn't watch YouTube videos. I couldn't do anything. Um <laughs> cuz you could cuz it would mess up the audio. Exactly. So I was I was forced to play this game alone effectively. Also I brought a bat with. And it took you a while. You played this next mini game for 25 minutes. Yeah. Well, it took me like 3 tries I, because I'd never played it before. So I didn't have like the easier difficulties easier difficulties to learn how to do it and so it kept being like by the way you have like two blocks left and i'm like fuck really because they kept so getting destroyed collect yellow cubes yeah curl them into the stream create plot so this is the same thing we've done before it's right the same thing the the gameplay only changes in terms of what the enemy does to you yeah that's or the what, only thing or that what changes. yellow plus white does basically i also could not figure out how to uh apply yellow to white no yellow plus yeah. white has done the yeah. same thing the entire time in the game uh, that has sometimes never changed. it explodes and sometimes it creates a platform. No, that's I think. that's yellow plus red explodes. Oh, you're yep. right. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. I got very acquainted the most with this system. statement ever. I know. <laughs> so do you did you find that you continually mixed up left and right click the entire time you were playing this game uh, and what they well, did? Well, for this section, I didn't know cuz you played the previous section, so I didn't I didn't know yeah. how to apply blocks to anything. So once I got like a handle on it, it was, I did not have nearly the same level of trouble you did. Uh, it's interesting to hear that you failed because that explains why. Like when I was editing, I'm like, why did this, why did I just have a jump cut for like 15 minutes and he got 
two more. I guess you probably started over or something, huh? Yeah, I started I started this one over several times. I also was trying to kill oh, wow. that thing by chucking the block at it, which apparently only works if it's in the stream. Like, it actually, uh, it only kills that thing. See, I'm trying to apply blocks at this point, because yeah, I'm still not... throwing them yeah. away forever. Because <laughs> I, I, I couldn't figure out how to apply blocks to the white ones. Yet. It's so disheartening when you accidentally sort of throw one, and you're like, Oh, I'm never getting that one back. Yep. Oh, no. I've had to reload the game from scratch before, because I accidentally threw something that was kind of important and couldn't find it again. Yeah. Whoopsie. This game is special. This is also me just yeah. trying to protect the white block from him, like, I mean, if you just grab stuff fast me. enough, you can kind of make pro- Okay, never yeah. mind. This is the other reason, um, that I kept restarting. Every time you hit the floor, you lose, like, two or three yellow charges. Yeah. And so, like, if you haven't done this before, you're not used to watching your feet. I've also barely played Minecraft, which you get kind of used to watching your feet. I was there. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was an interesting thing to just re-upload recently from that with no context. That was like, hey, yeah, I remember that. Me playing Wander for the first, uh, playing Minecraft with Wander for the first time, like a month after I met him. <laughs> it's weird. Apparently, I read the on the forum. Apparently, if you actually run out of blocks you can use, it'll actually kick you out or something. Yeah, and you'll fail. That's why. And then it starts over. That's why. I so kept, at least you don't uh, have to wonder. Yeah, I think this is where I'm starting to consider restarting. Because I've been here for you of all of your progress. Yes. Did you keep <laughs> all of the tries? Please tell me you cut some no. of them out. Okay, good. No, I literally showed the first few minutes and then the last few minutes. Okay, good. Because there's <laughs> I just no cut out the whole middle part. There's no reason to so show long. the middle part. It's so dumb yeah. too. That's where and each I time you do missed. one of these puzzle chambers, the the beginning and ending part that I include gets shorter and shorter. <laughs> yeah. Because at some point you're watching the same goddamn game. Like this is half the game. Oh, we added a ton of it out. Yeah, so this can't tell. this is this is where but I this is half. This half is where I just said fuck was it. Just running around and playing with cubes. Oh god, why did they think this, this is, is a good idea? I don't know. It's a really weird way to pad it out, right? Like, you're already. This, I think they were just they were just terrified the game was gonna be. I think they were just terrified it was gonna be only ninety minutes long. It's like, well, if you make them look for stuff a lot. And then we make them play this weird arcade game like five times. Then, then we'll th th then then it won't be ninety minutes long. And then they can't get us with a steam refund. Oh. <laughs> that is actually <laughs> is an that, entirely good point. That by the, the time you hit the is flower, that the new scary thing that happens. By the time you hit the uh, the flower bullshit, you're too late on the whole steam refund thing. Oh yeah, is that is oh is this the dark side of indie games in a post Steam refund world? Is that they pad themselves out with some sort of garbage thing I just could, to trick you into playing for more I, than two hours? You know what? I can see that, especially with like uh, Warner Brothers with their you know with their bullshit with um oh what's it called the the Batman Arkham Knight game. I could to oh yeah I could totally see them making sure that the first hour and uh first like two three hours are flawless, and then not QAing anything past that. Oh, that that was the that the Sega problem. Uh, Shogun Total War, I think, or one of the other Total War games, was infamous for being this game that reviewed super well because the part that reviewers would reasonably play was amazing. But then, if you actually got into it as a real player, that like suddenly you're like, this game gets really garbage like 20 hours in, and then just like shits itself. Hey, look, now we skip the There's last. There's the jump cat. <laughs> that is nowhere Did close to the it? end, though. <laughs> Well, you know what? <laughs> Maybe you should just do a little... F the, m the important thing is I cut out the vast majority of your time in this chamber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the, the, by the third try, I was I incredibly <laughs> efficient at this. <laughs> and dead inside. Yeah. Maybe we should see... Maybe we'll see a, a nice, very clear transition to like a way more... Like methodical and thought out wander all of a sudden. Because now 15 minutes have passed and you got this down. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I was just... Oh, you're, you're, you're being systematic with those platforms, for sure. Yeah. I, I hated... I hated this guy. This one specifically was super garbage. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be surprised that, like... Like, that game Gynophobia came out, and you can beat it in, like, 40 minutes. On on an Xbox... On an, I almost said Xbox Live Indie Games reflexively. On uh, Steam Greenlight and all that. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, games... Like, more recently... Like, Brighter Day... Like, you beat the main campaign in possibly only an hour to, to an hour and a half, 
But then it's like, all right, now do a scavenger hunt through the whole game you found so far and find like these 12 things. And it's like, that'll take you at least like a lot more than the two hours that that's, stops you from getting a refund, right? That's totally a thing though. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what game that is, but I've played that. Where like the end of it, you have to go back and scavenger hunt through the same game. I guess that's technically yeah. uh, Mercenary Kings. Oh, well, isn't Mercenary Kings already endless repetition the, the moment you true. finish one level and then it sends you back to that level to do a slightly different goal? <laughs> Like, that is true. I think that's just the. I think that's the core conceit. <laughs> I'm trying to think though. There's definitely a game that I I've played that like was really fun but incredibly short, and then it forces you to play through the entire game again, just to get the. Oh, we've played that. Oh. We played that together. Devil that May was, Cry Four. Which one? Devil May Cry Four does that. <laughs> oh, uh, I was actually gonna say halfway uh, through the game, the main ca character gets captured, and then you play as Dante for the second half of the game. Isn't that how going uh, backwards through the same levels? <laughs> that is actually well, at least it's backwards. Yeah, and also you're playing. Yeah, you you go you go with, like in different directions through them, but it does mean fighting the exact almost the exact same list of bosses, but just as a different character. But hey, different character. Yeah, if that's at, at least, least actually, marginally they expanded okay. on that even more. Now, in in the special edition, there's two more campaigns, one with Virgil and one with these two female characters from the franchise. So now you have five characters to play the same levels with and the same bosses with. <laughs> Which, I mean, decent. Yeah, Way it could be worse. revisit an old game. Especially when you're just re-releasing an old game, and, like, that's pretty good as far as remakes go. You having trouble here, Wander? Uh, this is me you're just th trying to just... You Hey, just destroying everything until something shows up. I'm trying to find yellow blocks in this area because I don't want to traverse the level yeah. too much. Because th there's that fuck. Because <laughs> if you ever make the mistake of falling, then you're like, oh, well, that's that's inexorable progress towards the bottom where I yep. lose progress. Um, so it's I was, progress towards the lo loss of progress. <laughs> I was trying to make as many um, platforms as possible without spending all the time just trying to rebuild the level of the blue blocks because fuck yeah. that. Um. But I was also trying was to stay away from all what of those. What was that game you thought of a second ago, though? The um, one that was uh, before when I, when I shouted out uh, Devil May Cry. Oh, uh, wasn't As like a, a Dragon's Crown like that? The the game oh, we played yes, together. Oh yes, you're right. Dra well, kind. It's it's weird. This is Dragon's weird. Crown. You, you beat the main campaign once, then you unlock the B route, where basically. You play the same locations on the map, but then you, as you progress, you go through the first like three rooms of each level, and then the remaining rooms of the level, which is probably like ten plus, are all uh, actually different rooms and a different boss. Okay, that's so, like, at you, least you visit the same comparatively like, visit reasonable. the same in-world settings, and then take literally a different road, which is weird. <laughs> this is the point where I'm trying very hard to stay away from all the yellow blocks, just in case he blows them up. Because I knew if they touch, yeah. touch the ground, I'm fucked. Oh no! Oh, yeah. he, was, he was slightly too high, apparently. Yeah, I don't really understand why that didn't knock me down, but I'm very glad it didn't. I mean, they... Oh, yep. Wander. Yep. Everyone's I, very disappointed in you. I hate the fact you. that killing him, um, <laughs> killing him still destroys blocks. Like... <laughs> Whomever designed like, this yeah, segment was... They successfully made them feel like enemies, for sure. They did. They're very antagonistic. Basically, the worst thing that I've ever encountered in a game is these little monsters. Honestly, I would I would call the entire yeah these guys are way more dangerous than those black clouds that are supposed to be lethal. You made it, Wander. You got the, the block thing, different brain or something. What was it again? Um, <laughs> I'm losing track of the body parts we're trying to salvage. This, this is the synchronizer work. because she keeps having seizures. Oh yeah. Good for digestion. I guess I missed this part where Wander stands still for a while. <laughs> it happened every once in a while. Usually whenever something would hap happen, like a transition, I would just kind of check out there for a go. bit. There you go. Oh, who? Oh, oh. Like... He's back. I was just so angry with the, this game that, like, even loading screens, I would, <laughs> I would just take a short, like, micro nap or read, read a comic Whoa. page or something. Yeah. I found out what special quality those kids had. They had exceptionally developed visual perception. Visual and aesthetic. For them, the shape, color, and the like surrounding objects was of critical importance. Some things were beautiful in their eyes, others the definition of ugly. And here's the kicker. They were always in consensus. But it was that very ability that ultimately became their plight. The particulars, however, I still do not know. 
This is me trying to this figure out to... how to how put it in my works. Yeah, <laughs> it, it wouldn't go. I, I figured out later yeah. that I was pressing the right It'll button. Be fine. It just didn't go in there. So I just like just stare at it and hope it doesn't fall off like what happened to me. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no, I was very paranoid. Uh, yeah, that I was going. You'll to... never find it again. Oh yeah, no, especially on this thing. Thankfully, no physics. I guess. As it would appear. Yep, it's hanging in there. We got it! And that woman talking interrupted my thoughts, so I don't know what I was about to mention. Shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I, 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 it makes me happy when I see the game stutter for you when you look around and it has to load stuff, because yep. it makes me, it reassures me about my computer. <laughs> yeah. Because your computer is supposed to be more powerful than me. Oh yeah. But I, I, I just get paranoid that my computer sucks when stuff like that happens. No, that's, that's just a built-in loading problem. Like, I had this thing yeah, on Ultra just, and it's still, like... 60 FPS the entire way through, stuttered whenever yeah. I got to a new area and turned around. Uh, it makes so me paranoid. You yeah, can't there's see just a lot of PC well games that flip out when it, What? But, uh, if you notice kind of in the distance, it's hard to see possibly in the final video, there's a little shadow bouncing along in the grass. That's why I'm <laughs> behaving weirdly. Not only is the bouncing kind of funny, but there's oh, no character like shadow. Jumping. There's no character shadow, but there's a shadow for everything else in the game. So we are a fa we are just a floating battery as far as this game is concerned. Yay! But yeah, I always get paranoid about it, but I guess it's just, it's just a problem where the game this has to load so much. This is also me trying to figure out how to open the door <laughs> with the battery. It's not in optimized hand. for loading all those things at once. Because that, that's that's a reoccurring thing with PC indie games. These first-person ones, they just flip out on you. Yep. Did you bring the battery? No, we didn't. Oh right, battery. She was about to go to sleep. That's what's going on. Go ahead, but you'll need to switch me off first. God, wander spoilers. Oh. Come the shakes again. <laughs> well, My bad. You're no always just replacing that. bits on her. Yeah. Shut me down. I know it's it's. A there's a repetition to the game. <laughs> Since it's the entire game. Mm, Robo nipples. Okay, so the, I, I, think, I own these I now. I think this is where you, you yep. actually took them. Yep. This is <laughs> Those where are in my inventory now. <laughs> They're my boobs. This is where I had a weird idea. These are my new breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> Me just tossing the battery off in the distance. Just randomly taking an important looking things and just chucking them. <laughs> Bye forever. I don't need you. Get out of here. You okay? I don't think she's okay. So this is me considering... I, I believe this is the point where I, I'm trying to decide whether or not she needs the boob plate to operate. I don't think so? It's like keeping the case of your computer closed. <laughs> when she's on, you can't put the boob plate back on. Two what? Attacks in one you can't. Day. That's weird. I'm breaking records. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Well, did you find out anything? Yes. Did you find your number? My number? Oh, no, not yet. But I did learn what the children were treated for. Remember I told you that the shape of objects was important to them? I do. Well, their illness was called morphophobia. Fear of a shape. Or to be more precise, an aversion to it. What kind of shape? The human body. They couldn't stand the sight of a human body. That was their disease. What do you mean that they couldn't stand it? They would literally get sick, vomiting at the sight of any person. Their teachers, doctors, passers-by, their own parents, even seeing each other in the mirror. What did they dislike so much about the human body? We never did find the answer. The children weren't able to articulate their feelings. First of all, they were really young. And secondly, they were unable to communicate at all with anyone. Any attempt at communication caused suffering and psychogenic vomiting. What an unusual disease. Yes, which is why the treatment was likewise unusual. Now I know the purpose behind those strange activities. Playing with cubes, collecting parts, and so on. So why were they assembling an in-body on stage? To cultivate in the children a positive association with the sight of a human body. They were using those bits to independently assemble a fairy tale character, a positive character. And thanks to their efforts, a young woman would take the stage. 
the defender of beauty, protecting a blossoming garden from a wicked witch. The witch symbolized ugliness? Evidently. Beauty would triumph over ugliness, and the children rejoiced at their involvement in bringing about a happy end. Bit by bit, their repulsion toward the human body was thus dislodged from their psyches, replaced by a new mindset which filled the human body with beauty and goodness. I see. And the cubes? What was their purpose? The cubes have an extremely simple shape. Playing in the pavilions blunted the kids' excessive sensitivity. Their psyches were being simplified so as to start sewing in them trivial categories. Good and evil, beauty and ugliness. Because their perception developed in an anomalous manner, the kids saw the world of shapes very differently, in a way that grown-ups could never understand. And there was no other way to save their lives other than to make them simpler. I'm still having trouble understanding. Hold on. Meyer. Hennebish. My name is Ida Meyer. You remembered? I found a journal. It contains my data. Here. Ida Meyer, age 26, City of Geneva. My personal number. And a date. August 15th, 2058. What year is it, by the way? 76. Whoa. So, I'm a psychologist from Geneva, and I've been lying in Mongolian soil for 18 years. In a candy box. And not in soil, but in sand. Very well, in sand. And now I'm in a flower vase, trying to verify my number. Only... Damn it. What? It's not working. The network interface. I can't get online. I guess the vase doesn't integrate with the web. Enibish, there's another network terminal underneath the TV. It's functional, only without power. If you can power it up, I'll be able to get online. Help me understand something. What? How did the kids react to seeing a mechanical body? The same way as an organic one. They puked. But then how did they interact with the staff? Their bouts of morphophobia were suppressed. The complex was equipped with these emitters. I don't know how they worked, but exposure to them enabled the kids to communicate with the staff as well as among themselves. Got it. And now wander confusion time. <laughs> I think I think it's wonder confusion time. It's great watching you try to solve puzzles and okay. editing that because I can see your anger in your motions. So yeah, even though there's no vocals. <laughs> so fuck fuck this section, by the way. Like I should have actually recorded my vocals, <laughs> even though you weren't going to use it, or maybe we could just throw it in occasionally just to show like how angry. Just so I could randomly intersplice it or something. Yeah, because it took me maybe ten minutes to even figure out what the hell she was asking for. <laughs> Much less. Thankfully, it'll take less than that in the work. video. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. I I live cut this. Whenever I, there's a live cut on my end, you knew you know I'm not happy about what's going on. Oh yeah. Basically, if there was dialogue, and then after that there was a cut in the video, like five minutes later, I basically knew I could skip those next five minutes because that was you not knowing what to do. Because and they then give the you next no video direction started when you in figure this out what to do. Game. It's Is there just four on the ceiling. There was a four on the ceiling. There was? I'd it's scrub back on the video, but we get uh, <laughs> confused. See, <laughs> Ch Chad's making fun of me saying that I'm not programmed to puzzle, but let's be honest here. This game is 100% bullshit. By the way, I still have her boobs. I mean, yeah. Why would you, why would you ever let go? Oh, yeah. Never, never going to stop. All right. It I'm took glad me forever. Those things eventually had a purpose to find I guess those. all the weird moving pieces eventually have some kind of purpose. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I think we just skipped 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like, it happened in 60 seconds for us, I think. But this took you an eternity. This part actually <laughs> took me the longest, I think. Figuring out how to do the next interaction. Had to climb the ladder. Little, no. Um, it's a little rough. There's some obtuse logic here. This didn't make sense. It said something about, like, a solar... 
I don't remember what it was asking for specifically. So it's considered trying. It's, here we go. Yeah. Ta -da! Solar battery. It's, this is not a solar battery. It's a solar panel. It's a solar panel. <laughs> And it was hiding it's super satisfying box. to pass this game on to you and have you, see you have exactly as much trouble <laughs> as I did. It was. Then, just, it means I'm not crazy, or we're both stupid. And here's Wander. Here's Wander physics time. <laughs> <laughs> Wander randomly walks around and just throws stuff for a while. <laughs> Having a grand old Wander time. I can't find the remote. I think was the point. <laughs> He found it. <laughs> and he dropped it. <laughs> this is a lot more I've fun never, to watch in post. Oh, admittedly. I've, ne I've never been more proud. Simultaneous existence of two copies of the same person gives rise to problems we are not prepared to tackle, as clearly demonstrated by the sorrowful experience of the recent past. For now, strict prohibition on duplication and forced deactivation of existing duplicates remain the only solution to the situation. Deactivated neurocopies are retired into secure storage facilities for likely reactivation in the future when a legitimate solution is found. This is one of the cases when. 